Hello, this is Jenny from Healing the Wounded Heart. Recently, I heard a talk from someone who was encouraging us all as believers to not forsake meeting together. And we read in Hebrews chapter 10 verse 25 how the writer was speaking to the followers of Jesus saying that they should not give up meeting together, as some are in the habit of doing, but encourage one another, and all the more as they see the day approaching. Of course, this past 14 months or so has been totally unprecedented in the experience that we've all been through, that experience of feeling confined and separated from being in close fellowship with one another. Who would have ever thought that we would have gone through and still going through a global pandemic? Yes, we have been thankful for being able to watch church services online or being involved in Zoom services online. Also, of course, the times when some of us were able to meet physically together as church during the times when lockdown had been temporarily lifted was just so amazing. However, what saddens me and concerns me is that so many churches have appeared to make no attempt to physically meet up at all when they could have done so. The excuse often given was that social distancing could not take place as the numbers wishing to attend would be too high. Or, well, what's the point in going to church if you can't sing? Anyway, enough said about that. As I speak these few words, I have just returned from speaking at a little church which has always sought to meet together as much as possible during this difficult time. The presence and love of Jesus in that gathering today was just so wonderful. And do you know, it didn't really matter that we were not allowed to sing, drink coffee afterwards or hug one another. You see, it was all about being physically present together inviting the presence of the Lord among us, and he showed up. Remember how Jesus said that where two or three are gathered in his name, there he is in the midst of them. Now, of course, God is present with us as we watch church being live-streamed onto our television screens or take part in Zoom live services. But, it is just not the same. Therefore, I want to encourage us all, along with the writer to the Hebrews, to endeavour to physically attend church too, when and if we are physically and practically able to do so. God bless you. Amen.